I'm Carolyn Driver with Vision Media News, and we're delighted to be at Beulah Heights University uh, today. And I have with me the president of Beulah Heights University, Dr. Benson Karanja. And uh, we wanted to uh, let all the community know all the wonderful things that's going on at Beulah Heights University. Uh, Dr. Karanja, we're so glad to have you with us today. Thank you. Uh, would you uh, share with us the heritage of Beulah Heights University? Uh, first, I just want to welcome everyone and say thank you for coming to tip these or for having me in this program. I just want to say that Beulah Heights heritage is very, very, very rich. It started in 1918, and the vision was to train men and women for the ministry who will go uh, to the foreign mission. And from that time, we had people who were trained that went to Brazil, India, and Kenya. And some of them went even to Central America. So the, 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 it, it's a very, very healthy and wealthy uh, heritage. And also, after that, the school has grown where we started to uh, train people from all over the world. And uh, we're training people from 36 different countries. And we sent our, pro we sent our professors and our staff members to different foreign countries. We send them to Brazil. We send them to Kenya, South Africa. And uh, if, if you come to Beulah Heights, it's just almost a, a little bit of the taste of how heaven will be. It's taking a trip around the world. It is, it is, and changing the people's life. What is the mission of Beulah Heights University, Dr. Karanja? The mission of uh, Beulah Heights is very, very simple. It's to train men and women uh, for the ministry and marketplace. And the ministry is for people who are going to do or work with the ministry direct. And marketplace is people who are going to work in power Christian ministries and also in corporate America with the, with the Christian values embedded in them. So uh, it, it's a simple but still very, very powerful because our goal is to continue changing the world and the people that come to contact with Beulah Heights. So Beulah Heights started out as basically uh, serving uh, churches as a Bible college, but now has expanded to uh, not only for those who will be in uh, church and parachurch ministries, but now those who will be CEOs of corporations and um, presidents of companies and and then all the different uh, uh, disciplines. Am I understanding you correctly? Absolutely. That's, that's what, uh, it started as a small mission station where they were just training a few people that will go to international or foreign countries to do the ministry. But as we have continued to grow, and our mission still remained uh, to train men and women for the ministry and marketplace, the question is, what is the marketplace? The marketplace is the corporate America, is uh, private companies, is government. And therefore, why we have now changed uh, to Beulah Heights University, it's not that we're changing our mission, but we're expanding the platform mm -hmm. so that those people who want to work in the government, those who want to work in corporate America to be CEOs right. or to be teachers or to be managers of different companies, will have the same value, Christian values, because every course they're going to take, every, every major they're going to take, they will have courses that will be required that has Christian value or more biblical-based uh, based classes. Well, even what you've told us, Dr. Karanja, mm -hmm. uh, makes Beulah Heights uh, very unique. What other things would you say uh, makes Beulah Heights think maybe from some other university? Because um, it's our, it's our diversity. Our, we, we are so diverse, and it, it's, it's one of the most unique small colleges that I would say that I've ever seen. I have visited many colleges throughout the world, and especially in North America. I, I am a member of uh, Tracks Council and ABHE Council, the accrediting agencies that accredit. Uh, Christian colleges and schools, and there is no any other college that is as di diverse as we are. That is number one. Number two, it's uh, the faculty who teaches here. They're not only uh, faculty that come to teach uh, theoretically, 
there are practitioners, there are people who are already in the ministry, there are people who are already in corporate America. So what they're teaching, they're teaching something that they can also uh, apply or they, they teach by example. They have seen the pain of the ministry. They understand the issue that face people in the corporate America. So they're more practitioners and that's why we are so unique. Uh, the third thing is that um, we offer classes um, both in the daytime, we offer in evening, we also offer on weekends, and also we offer in modular, modular format. So we try to cater for a dot uh, student who is busy and who do not have time to waste, that they come to class, they want to learn and go. So we, that's why we, we are so unique as compared to other institutions. Now, am I correct uh, in that I heard that a, a student could actually, if they wanted to, in addition to all that you've mentioned, mm -hmm. could take one day and take a full load in that one day? Absolutely. We have some classes, I think it is Tuesdays and Thursdays, when they start the classes at 6.30 in the morning mm -hmm. and they end at 10 and you can take four classes on that particular day and you'll be a full-time student. That's wonderful and, and exactly. a cutting edge and being exactly, creative. Exactly helps uh, with the format that you've described. It just right. helps so many people with so many different types of schedules and right. demands uh, on their lives. Today. Absolutely, absolutely. J just think, for, for example, even if you're taking one class and you're supposed to go to the office at 9 and you come and take a class that starts at 6.30 and ends at 8.30, you still can drive and go to work. So you don't have to ask for permission to, uh, to be uh, out of your office. So you still can be able to accomplish what you're doing and still attend school um, and, and finish your program within the, 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 uh, the scheduled time of four years. Well, I just really commend you and Beulah Heights for making such a diverse uh, way and methods for people to attend. Even though you've uh, shared a lot of things, mm -hmm. Uh, I know being on the cutting edge like mm -hmm. you are, yeah. that something new is always uh, on the horizon. Right. What's new at Beulah Heights University? We, we have new things coming up. Uh, all that time from 1918 up to last year, Beulah Heights was only under, an undergraduate. But starting this, uh, this fall in August, we'll be having a graduate school. We will be teaching masters in biblical studies and also Masters in Leadership. And next year we're going to be offering MDiv, and the following year we'll be offering a, a, a DMIN. And we are also exploring this, the possibility of us starting a teacher's education program. So we have three phases that uh, we are planning, and we are so excited about that. We, uh, and I have the director of uh, our graduate school here. He'll be coming soon, and you'll be talking with him, or we'll be talking with him and tell us in detail as to what we're going to be doing. But uh, we, we, are, we are so excited. We have a, a program, and I have uh, the chair of that program here uh, called uh, Urban Studies, which really deals with the inner city issues that are facing the pastors in the inner city. B because what is happening now, apart from the world becoming a global village, the world is almost becoming like one huge city. And if we don't train pastors and the people that live in the city, the issues that we face in the city, the immigration issue, the diversity, different cultures, I think we'll be, we'll be doing ourselves disservice. Therefore, we need to change the way we have been teaching, especially in Bible colleges, to be able to understand the world is no longer the same the way it was 20 years ago. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's meet some of your department heads and hear a little bit more mm -hmm. about each of the uh, target areas you have uh, for all of those who are listening that would like to maybe know a little bit more about the different areas that you've mentioned. Okay. okay. I, I think what we need to start today, I, I, the person that I want to start with is our chairman, my chairman of uh, uh, urban urban studies, uh, Professor Betty Palmer, and she will come and talk to us and tell us what it means to train people to serve the community and what economics uh, means to the church. Because sometimes as the people of faith, we don't understand what economy, that, that, that we hold a lot of power when we understand the economy. This is Vision Media News reporting to you from Hewlett Heights University, and when we return, uh, Professor Palmer will be our guest.